Evening. Bird seller. List 80 South Poles. Uh, just got done moving the flirt here um, into this just beautifully lush paddock that we have here. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, where's the energy? Where's the energy at? Um, this is kind of what we're dealing with here. This is, you know, a typical paddock. Yeah, we've got some nicer ones, like down in there, where we've got some thicker grass and stuff. But, you know, the majority of what we're dealing with is this. That. Yep. That's our, that's what we're, that's it. And so, I don't know, we're not able to, I guess, well, not yet, but uh, we don't have a nice stand of grass. But what we do have is, we got a lot of weeds and things like that. I guess you'd call them forbs. Um, right there, these things, these white flowers here, I think they're called horolysium. You see these seed heads, right? these seeds right here? The sheep eat those, and boy... That, uh, they put some weight on. I'm not sure if the cattle eat them or not, but I know the sheep do for sure. Uh, they're making their way across this paddock. They're trying to find something more palatable, but it's not really going to be found. Here's a nice little heifer. She's pretty. Pretty little thing. Um. Yeah, so well, she's kind of got a chocolate color to her. Her mom's all black, and then her her daddy is the the Red Bull. And, uh, it's a pretty good looking little calf, real good looking little thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Have you found any energy yet? I haven't. I don't. We, I haven't found it yet. But these animals, they find it. If you give them the chance to. I was talking with a friend of mine on the phone the other day and he was bringing up bringing up the fact about uh, if the animals are allowed to just go wherever they want, whenever they want, they're going to go around and select the most nutrient dense, highest energy plants that they can find. That means they're going to keep on moving along. Well, he brought up to me that it's our job as managers of the livestock and the land to try to replicate that and give these animals the most energy and nutrient dense feed we can give them all throughout the day and all throughout the growing season. And I agree with him. And yeah, we're not doing the best job we could out here they're moving something like three times a day right now with a herd of close to 300 i believe and um yeah they're seeing some serious results for sure but uh get closer here let's check the condition on these animals here here's some these rams here by the way, we got to get these rams out of here ASAP, pretty quick here. But uh, and I don't think they're hurting in the grocery department too much. They look like they got pretty, they're doing pretty well. Uh, these lambs are growing out pretty well, looking pretty decent. Um, kind of getting close to these calves. This little girl here. Let's see these cows over here too. Let's check the condition on these cows. There's a little void right there, I'll say, right there. It shouldn't be sunken in like that. So yes, they are limited. Um 
Yeah, but the paddocks we're in are just lousy, so we're just kind of doing what we can, make and do, trying to get some impact where we can, and then uh, getting, getting on with it. So tomorrow we'll be out of here. Oh, it's a pretty half, yeah, pretty little heifer. Tomorrow we'll be out of here and we'll head across the fence back to the big farm. Um, but I mean, when you look at these cattle, I don't think they're hurting. I think they're looking pretty decent. They got some some decent uh, weight on them, and I don't know. I think they're doing all right. Looks like they got some wrinkles on their tail heads, and you know, I think they're doing okay. The calves look like they're in good shape. Boy, that's a pretty little heifer there with the white stripes on her. That's a pretty little girl. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I guess what I'm getting at is you, you got to give these animals an opportunity to collect the energy that's available and give them enough area to collect the energy um, because if you do that then they can they can make things uh, go well you can, you can get them uh, get them looking pretty decent I don't know I mean you look see what they're grazing on they're not grazing on anything decent and here's look at this side hey yeah, we grazed it short, but look, that's what it looked like before we grazed it. And there's not really, <laughs> there's not a lot of difference from side to side. They've just been in here for, you know, 15 minutes. They haven't been in here very long at all. So, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's what the grazing thing's all about. It's about harvesting energy and turning it into a marketable product. It's not about anything else. It's not about <laughs> growing fat roots. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to go any further into that. I'll get too upset. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, moving the animals, keep them moving, let them harvest the energy. Don't let them sit in one spot too long, you know. Preferably a few times a day would be best. But once a day, you know, is good, you know, whatever you can do, whatever you think you're capable of. But keep them moving. And the more you move them, the better results you'll have. It's just kind of simple math, really. Um, other than that, I don't know. It's a pretty nice night. And we're out here in one of our lousiest paddocks. And everybody's looking in really good shape. Um, calves are all nice and shiny. All in good health. Um, lambs are growing out real well. Uh, yeah, if anybody's looking for a ram lamb, we'll have ram lambs available. Uh, also, yeah, coming up in September, I better start plugging this. We're having our grazing school September 27th and 28th. We've got Greg Judy coming up and Isaac Tappenden coming up from Missouri from Green Pastures Farm to give us all kinds of knowledge on uh, this adaptive grazing Thing we're doing here um, so if anybody's interested in improving their animal performance their pasture condition you know learning how to run your operation be profitable you can come down come and check that out I'll put a link in the description uh, we're gonna be serving food real good food uh, and uh, it's going to be a good time so uh, hopefully uh, we'll see a bunch of you there we got room for a hundred so hopefully you all get signed up and we can see you there uh, 
Everybody have a great night, and uh, see you next time.